Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the Institute for Spiritual Development, a God-centered metaphysical church and community dedicated to our growing spiritual awareness in an atmosphere of unconditional love and acceptance. Welcome home. My name is Reverend Barbara Scipio, and I am the director and pastor of the Madison chapter of the Institute for Spiritual Development. Please feel free to visit our website for more information at www.isdmadison.org. There you can find links to our YouTube channel. We also advertise on Madison Patch, nextdoor.com, and alignable.com. So if you're interested to know what we're about, like again, I said you can go to our website at www.isdmadison.org. There you will find our declaration of principles and how to get in touch with us, or you can email us at contact at isdmadison.org. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have about our organization. We are one of five chapters. There is another chapter in New Jersey, Sparta. There is Washington, DC. There's Treasure Coast in Florida, and there's Oneonta in New York. And we're all governed by the Institute for Spiritual Development International, which is run by Reverend James DiBiasio, who started the organization 35 years ago, I believe. So we're happy to be part of the Institute for Spiritual Development family, and we're ha happy to have this class. And we hope you enjoy our meditation. And every week we try to do a different theme for the meditation. So if there's anything you'd like to see or hear, let us know. Uh, everything is published on our YouTube channel if you'd like to go back and listen to the meditation again. Or if you'd like to see our services, which continue virtually on the first and third Sundays of the month. So without further ado, we are going to start our meditation. And I'd like to ask everyone to please mute their Zoom and turn off their video. We start on Zoom, we go to Facebook Live, we do our meditation, and then we come back to Zoom and we talk about our experiences and do some psychic development. <clears throat> so enjoy the experience. Let's relax. I'll turn the light down as we get into the meditation move. Okay, I'd like to ask everyone to please either lay down or sit comfortably in their chair, feet flat on the floor, as we set the intention for tonight's meditation. And as we see in the background, a drop of water hitting the pond or lake and expanding out into the universe. And think of that as our energy, <coughs> excuse me, expanding out. Our love and our light as a ripple effect throughout the entire universe. As we begin to relax, now we start to breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in for your nose and out with your mouth put your out breath longer than your in breath. <clears throat> Excuse me. And breathe in strength and breathe out fear. And just feel all the fear go away from every inch of your body and being. Breathe in strength again and breathe out chaos chaos that you may experience, be experienced anywhere in your body or in your life. <clears throat> Excuse me. And just breathe it all out, out into the universe for recycling and rejuvenation. Breathe in strength again and breathe out judgment. Judgment of yourself and others. And continue breathing in and out, relaxing each time with your breath, scanning your body for any signs of distress, worry, or pain, 
and send that part of your body extra light and love and thank your body for sharing, but release it out into the universe for recycling and rejuvenation as this pain does not belong to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Feel the oxygen reaching every cell of your body and being down to your tippy toes and fingertips. The wonderful oxygen rich air that we breathe in and out without even thinking twice, knowing that it will always be there for us. As we thank the universe for providing us with this oxygen that we often take for granted. As we give gratitude and thanks for the universe for providing us with the oxygen and for our bodies for accepting and appreciating the oxygen. And feel it flowing through our body, through the blood and arteries of our body and being in our veins, down to our tippy toes and fingertips. Breathing in oxygen, breathing out carbon dioxide. Feel the blood flowing through your veins, your wonderful heart pumping the heart through every inch of your body and being. But you don't have to remind your body what it needs to do as you were made perfectly in the likeness and image of God and everything works perfectly as it was designed. Your hair doesn't need to be reminded to grow or your fingertips and toenails. And think about your being as you take this time to connect to the divine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Think about all the forms your physical body has been in since your incarnation. You were once a little fetus in your mother's, mother's belly. And then you were conceived and you grew and you were born into the physical body, a spiritual being having a temporary human experience. And think about how your body has changed over the years from when you were a toddler to a young child, to a teenager, to an adult. But the soul remains the same. Your heart remains the same. And that's what we're connecting to now. Your inner divinity, your divine. Who you were before you were incarnated and who you will become or return to after you return back home to heaven. And this is all you. You're a spiritual being having a temporary human experience. And think about all you've learned in this physical body in this incarnation. All your experiences. Some painful, some pleasant. Some believe we're here to learn and that this is school. As is taught by the teaching of the spiritual response therapy. That we're here to learn our lessons 
And once we've learned all our lessons, we return back to spirit and we don't have to come back here again. But the teachings of Abraham teach that we are here because we love to be here and we love to co-create with each other and that we come back with people that we love or spiritual beings that we love to be around with and enjoy. Whatever you believe, your connection to the divine is always there. I invite you to put your hand on your heart. When you're asked who you are, You don't point to your head or to your toes. You can't point to your heart. Why is that? We are so connected to the divine with our heart and our solar plexus or our inner ding or our intuition, whatever you call it. <clears throat> Those two things never go away. No matter what physical body we are in or what stage of our physical body our life is in. <clears throat> this is who we are and this is what we take with us. What is in our heart and what is in our soul. As you feel the unconditional love of the divine as your physical body becomes a short remembrance as we focus on the auric body and the spiritual body. As you notice your auric field, the beautiful colors of the rainbow, and you might notice the red of the root chakra the orange of the sacral plexus, the yellow of the solar plexus, the green of the heart chakra, the blue of the throat chakra, the indigo of the third eye, or the white of the crown chakra, the top of your head. As you see these beautiful colors meld together, what an amazing brightness and beauty that cannot be seen with the physical eye. And see that energy expanding as the picture in the background and a ripple effect throughout the universe as it touches everything in its path and blesses it with love and light. <coughs> Excuse me. This is you, this is who you are. A spiritual being having a temporary human experience and think about your contribution to this world, to this incarnation, to this life. How many you have touched and how many have touched you. How much you've learned over the years. How your spirit has grown. You are so beautiful and so wonderful and so perfect. And the divine loves you so much. Can you feel this love? Do you love yourself this much? If not, why not? There's no reason to see yourself other than the way the divine sees you as beautiful and perfect. As you were created from God, so you are God. And forget about everyone else who has an opinion of you. Because that doesn't matter. 
When you leave this physical body, what are you taking with you? Your heart and your soul. And you remember that everyone is on their own journey and that spiritual beings making mistakes or errors in judgment or just their learning processes, they are also in school. And sometimes decisions are made based on fear or ego. But when you return home, back to the divine, think about what you're taking with you. Think about how you've served. Today is the first day of the rest of your physical life. How do you plan on spending this time? Is there a calling that you're not following or that you'd like to spend more time doing? Do you know what makes your heart sing? Do you enjoy serving and helping others? If you're not sure, just ask your divine for clearance and guidance as to your life's mission and purpose. As in this meditative state, we stop the brain chatter. So our communication with the divine is clear. As they say that praying is talking to God, but meditating is listening to God. Notice who's with you. Notice if there's any angels or guides that have joined you. Or perhaps there's ancestors that love you and adore you, that watch over you. And the invitation is to take this drop of water in the background and wash away all negativity and stress and worry and judgment about yourself and release it out into the ether for rejuvenation or down to Mother Earth because you are beautiful and you are wonderful and you are perfect and the divine will never see you any other way. So why not try looking at yourself the same way? And not an ego-based love, but an appreciation and acknowledgement of your divinity. And I acknowledge your beauty and your perfection. And I thank you for joining us in this meditation and sharing your beauty with us. Because when we come together and co-create, the energy is powerful and expands exponentially. And do not see your differences as flaws, but your uniqueness and wonderfulness. As we all have different fingerprints, we all have different gifts to offer. And I am honored to share your gifts with me and others. Let your beautiful light shine. Because whenever you turn a light switch on in a room, the light always overcomes darkness. So love will always overcome hate. Peace will always overcome war. Abundance will always overcome poverty. And health will always overcome disease. 
And I invite you to focus on the solution. There's plenty of naysayers out there. And spiritual beings with negative outlooks and attitudes. But again, I invite you to be part of the solution. And when an issue comes your way, do not see it as a problem. See it as an opportunity for learning and growing. And think about how you attracted this issue into your life. Because by law of attraction, you get what you think about, whether you like it or not. So learn the lesson that needs to be learned and move on. As your beauty, your divinity, and your gifts, we are honored to share with the world. And we are honored that you share with us. So feel the unconditional love of the divine. As you imagine a drop of water behind us, imagine that this is a drop of unconditional love falling over you as it expands exponentially. <coughs> Excuse me. Reaching everyone and everything in your path. As you know, that you are always connected to the divine. You are always loved. There's nothing that you can do that the divine would ever abandon you or not love you any less. As you imagine, you're looking into a virtual mirror as you see yourself. As you say, I love you. I really, really love you. And acknowledge and appreciate your uniqueness as there is only one you. What a special gift that is. And no one has the same gifts that you have to offer. So I invite you to share your gifts with this wonderful world. As you shine your beautiful love and light making this place, this planet, a little brighter. And as we imagine we come together, as we give each other virtual hugs, And that our energy and unconditional love expands exponentially out into the universe. <coughs> Excuse me. And slowly, when you're ready, <clears throat> you can come back to the here and now, taking this wonderful energy into your heart and soul as you carry it with you, knowing that you can close your eyes and come back to this wonderful place anytime.
And when you're ready, slowly wiggle your fingers and toes. Slowly coming back to the here and now. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you for joining us on Facebook Live. If you'd like to stay back on Zoom and share your experiences, we'd love to hear from you. God bless you. We look forward to seeing you next week at our next meditation and our next service will be the first June of the month. Thank you. I love you. God bless you. Namaste.